I'm about to start a whole new cosplay. This Flareon design. This video is all about planning. It's going to be part come shop with me and part what am I going to use from my stash. So I showed you it before but this is the Flareon cosplay design that I'm going to be doing next. It's by the Australian artist Taiga Kun, who is also a fantastic cosplayer. I'm so excited that I finally get to do one of her designs. So this week I started the planning process in regards to this. I have an idea of how I'm going to make each different section, but I thought that what I would do is that I would start by pulling out pieces from my stash uh, and then from there decide what I still need to buy in terms of fabric. I'm sort of starting with the fabric side of things because like the jewellery and armour and also the staff can be done afterwards. The only thing that isn't just fabric based that I need to actually start with will be the tail. I can't believe I'm making a tail. <laughs> this is going to be the first time making a tail. <laughs> Wish me luck. So in this video I thought I'd show you what I pulled from my stash and also what I went shopping to get. In fact let's start there because I have some past me wanting to talk to you. G'day, it's Wednesday afternoon. I'm sorry for me looking like sweaty sweatster. Uh, I've just finished work and it is hot. So I've just pulled up to Spotlight, my local Spotlight Cannington store. Love these people here. They're so helpful and the shop is so organized. Um, and we're gonna go in and I am going to have a look at the furs to see if there's anything that's appropriate for Flareon. So come with me. So I just came out of Spotlight and I ended up not buying any fur just because it was really white and if I can avoid dyeing, I will. <laughs> In all senses of the word. Um, so instead I had this crazy idea and I'm going to test it out and that is that I've got this wool which is a cream. It was like two dollars so I was like I'm going to make my own fur or at least I'm going to attempt to. If it fails spectacularly then I will buy fur and I will dye it somehow and die in the process but you know fun times this is this is all about experimentation the good news is that they also had an orange which was the exact color of the taffeta that I want to use so if this works and it doesn't take forever then that would be really good yeah it's Saturday and I'm at Homecraft Textile Traders. It's just going on nine o'clock, which means they're about to open up their doors, uh, which means that I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get some taffeta, some lycra. I'm gonna have another look, see if they've got any fur. I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a look. Uh, pro yeah, we're gonna buy um, because it's 50% off. So, uh, oh, and I've got to get some dye as well. Must remember that. So I think I'll get, I'll definitely get some red and I might even get some orange as well. So it's good to have that in the stash. So 50% off everything, yay! This one is, I think like $4.99 a metre. So like, it's usually $10 a metre. And it is like 150 centimetres wide. So I think I'll get two metres of that, which is awesome. So yeah, I love this taffeta. It's really lightweight, it's really long, and it's super cheap. Oh, the lycra. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. This is my taffeta. This is their orange lycra. I'm thinking I might get a meter of this just to play around with as a safeguard, but I might get some white and then try and dye it because this dye looks like it could turn out a similar, more similar color to this. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I just have come out of home craft. It was pretty successful. So I got some orange dye, I got some taffeta, I got two different lots of lycra, cause you know, um, 
I got some buckram, so I got a meter of buckram because that comes in handy and I'm going to be needing it for the hat because I don't think I've got quite enough yet. Um, and I got a zip. So now I'm going to quickly drop back to Spotlight and I'm going to see if they've got some red synthetic dye because Homecraft didn't have any. So there, that's where I'm going next. Red dye. Do we have any red dye? There is no synthetic red dye. How does this not exist? Oh gosh. Chat. There it is. I say, where's the red dye? There's no red dye. Right there. And welcome back. A little bit of context why I went to Spotlight to get the red dye now was because of the fact that I actually had a 40% off coupon for one single priced item. So I thought now was the time since I had 50% off the stuff from Homecraft, I got 40% off this. Tell you what, if you're in Australia and you are not a Spotlight Club member, get on it. That's where you get the coupons. So first up, what I thought I'd do is I'd show you just kind of the fabrics that I actually got today. Um, I'm not going to show you the buckram or like the zip or anything like that because that's boring and that's kind of whatever. <laughs> so first up, the lycras. Aren't they so bright? <laughs> So the lycra I plan on using for the gloves and the stockings and I plan on using the dyes to give me a gradient effect. As for the tafta, this is the one that I brought home from today's shopping trip. This is the one that I had in my stash. They've changed their supplier of taffeta, which I only realised after I got home. So the taffeta is the main fabric for the hat and the dress. Now I'm not sure, but I might have enough of this to do that. But saying that with the new taffeta, I have a plan. I'm thinking I might put this new taffeta with some orange dye to take out some of the yellowish tones. Hopefully that will work. If not, well, I'll deal with that then. Right, so now onto what I pulled from my stash. So the next fabric I want to show you is the lining and I'm using this really expensive beautiful silk. I don't have issues, I don't have issues, I don't have issues. I bought this back when I thought I was going to do a very complex CL costume which never happened. So I'm glad that I'm finally going to use it out of my stash but I am a little bit sad because it is so pretty and I'm using it for lining. However, I'm telling myself that it's okay because a lot of it is going to be seen. I mean, it's underneath the hat, a lot of it flares out from the skirt, and it's on the inside of the ears as well. So the next thing for my stash is this red silk. It is really, really lovely. I have wanted to make something out of it for ages and I just could not find the right project. So I'm so glad that this is going to be part of the intricate corset and for the hat as well. It's the small things in life that make us happy. So the next fabric is this gold pleather. I've had it in my collection for a while and I've used it, I think the last time I used it was for my Aska project and I bought way too much and then I inherited some more. So I'm so glad that I get to use this again. Um, it's going to make a really nice detail uh, for the edging. So the last thing that I pulled from my stash was this flesh coloured netting. I will be using this on my legs because I'm going to connect my shorts and the stockings together. So it's more of a pants than separate pieces. That way I think it's going to hold better and uh, things won't ride up or fall down where they shouldn't be. Planning. So that's all my fabric to date. I still have the fur. So I'm not going to be doing the crazy idea of the wool fur and I'm not going to get white fur and dye it. Instead, when I came home today, I jumped on the internet and I found Bartfield, which has some great reviews in regards to its fur. So I ordered two meters of their ivory fur. To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't really like buying fabric that I can't feel and see, but <laughs> please cosplay gods, let it work. I am so excited about this costume. I hope that you guys are too. Thanks for joining me on this kind of planning adventure. If you've got any kind of parts of the costume that you're excited to see, or maybe you want to see a tutorial of, please let me know in the comments below because I probably will be doing a few because I'm going to be working on this costume for a while. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!